All right, guys. So I'm back right now, and it's crazy. Ramadan's within 12 days, I think. I believe it's in 12 days, May 26. I forgot, but it's coming very fast. And what I want to talk about is how to prepare for Ramadan. So I want you guys to take out your notebook and write and write some tips down right now. All right, guys. So one easy tip would be. I would say this is a lot of people should do this. It's so much better for you guys because it's gonna be so much easier for you in Ramadan. So it's like, um, I would say fast voluntarily like the month before Ramadan. So you could do two two times every week on the, like coming up to Ramadan. Like pick any days you want. I believe if you guys wanna pick two days for fasting a week, those days should be, I think, I believe it's Monday and Thursday, which the Prophet did. Yeah, you should you pick any days you want, which is like easy for you. You don't have to do this, but it's just a tip to prepare for Ramadan. You don't eat too much, and yeah, it's gonna—it's not—it's not hard. I mean, it's not too hard for some people. I mean, like a lot of people put in their heads that it's too hard, but some people have it harder than others. But let's just say it's a grind. You know what I mean? All right. So tip number two, I would say extra prayers. So it's not—I mean, just two rikats. You know what I'm saying? Like not too—not nothing too crazy. You know what I mean? You guys could do this. Tip number three: after you guys are done praying, you guys could just—you know what I mean? Like. You know, just make do. You know what I'm saying? Just repent. Tip number four: the month before Ramadan, coming up while you guys are fasting and everything like that, you guys could like control what you eat and eat a lot less. Cause a lot of people make this mistake. Even while while they're fasting throughout the day, you guys don't eat anything. But then when it comes time to when it comes time to eat, everybody just like eats so much. When it comes time to uh, like break their fast, they eat so much that they get full. And even Suhoor too, they do the same thing when you guys wake up in the morning. Suhoor is like, like even in the morning, people just wake up and they eat so much. When you eat so much, that makes you like, it's literally not doing, it's not good for you if you eat too much. Like people, you should not eat up to a part where you're full. You guys should always eat up to a part where you guys, you guys have some space in your stomach that you guys, you know, you guys can keep going on throughout the day. Don't ever eat, like people have that mistake where they eat so much that they fill up the, like their stomachs and they can't even move, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not, trust me, that's not, that's not, it's like, it's a very, thing. it works against you, trust me. Like, I think that works against you. Eating too much works against you, to be honest, because you get more hungrier, You're, like, you start craving more. Eat as less as possible, trust me on this one. And tip number five, all right guys, so it's really like working out. You can't just work out and like, feel comfortable, and, you know what I'm saying, and like, get strong. You guys gotta like, warm your way up. You gotta do some push-ups, like you gotta work, work your way up. So like, all these tips should be like, boosting you guys up so you guys feel strong during Ramadan, you know what I'm saying? So like, that was like a, I think that was a bad example of what I just said, but I think you guys get what I'm saying here. All right, so tip number five, work on your character. If you guys curse, curse a lot less. If you guys listen to music, try to listen to less music. I mean, it's, uh, music is my problem too. It's like I, I listen to a lot of music when I'm in the streets and I'm like walking. I listen to music, so I got. I'm gonna try to cut down on that myself. Listening to music. All right. Uh, so like, cut down on that and basically your character. You gotta work on your character. Like if you see a homeless man in the street, give him some. You know, like, hook him up with something. You know what I mean? Mosques when they they ask for donations, you guys drop some money or something. Like, do what you can. If you guys can't do none of this, it's, it's still good as, as long as you have the thought helping others. Just yeah, so good charity work, I guess. All right, so these are some quick tips I'm trying to help you guys to prepare for Ramadan because it's probably, I think it's about in 11 days. I'm not even sure from this video posting today, so it should be in, a, I think, about 11 days. I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't even know what today's date is, to be honest. Let me check it. Probably nine days. I don't even know. I don't know. I, don't, I think it's like in a week and a half or some shit. Let's just say that. Yeah, these are some quick tips. I hope you guys are gonna take some advice within the next couple of days that's coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below some of your helpful tips if you guys have some helpful tips so you guys can help others and spread the message. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoy this one. And I am out.